Hello, welcome back. Look who's back, back again. <laughs> Shady's back. It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. Right, anyway, uh, we made a Warrington. Never been to Warrington in my life. This is a rugby town, home of the Warrington Wolves. Uh, don't know anything about the place, apart from the fact that it's between Liverpool and Manchester, but we're very much looking forward to exploring. And we're gonna kick off the day at the bottom of the town centre with the weather spoons. And it's called the Friar Penketh. So let's get in there, let's get this one done, and we'll see what today brings. This is side spoon set up on two levels. Three or eight or choices. Session I've never had before, which is quite nice. This is the, uh, the upstairs bar. We will uh, head back downstairs. It is a uh, reasonable size, reasonably busy, as you'd expect, at lunchtime in a Spoons. But not too shabby a place. And the carpet, as you can see, is your rugby ball themed. Which is where we are, makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's a decent sized Spoons, but maybe the, the most miserable staff at Spoons I've probably ever come across. They wouldn't hurt to break a smile, but they certainly can't do it. Right, uh, Wigan video. Paul and Michelle, who join us in Wigan, are here. Give us a wave, they've come to join us. Uh, right, just over the road then from Spoons is stop two, which is called Poston Gate. There's absolutely no need for this music to be playing outside the, the pub whatsoever, especially with no one out, it's just offensive, but you know. We won't judge the pub from its uh, terrible music choice on the outside. Big screen telly. We're going to see what it's like inside. Inside, it feels like a little bit of a, of a historic thing. Poston Gate is the name given to the back entrance of a castle or, or abbey or something like that. So it feels like it might have been something to do with Warrington Abbey or Friary or something over the years. It's got that, uh, that sort of weird feel, but it's, it's very weird. The mu it's, it's 20 to 3 in the afternoon and they said the music is very, very loud, as you can, you can see. It's a, bit, it's a bit of a strange vibe. Uh, no ales on, but juke, salt juke. It's a very strange one, that Poston Gate. I, don't really, I just don't know what they're going for. Are they going for a nightclub atmosphere, nightclub vibe? Or what they're trying to do, but at 2.30 in the afternoon, there's no real need for the music to be that loud. Very strange, and that's probably the coldest bar we've ever seen. It's freezing in there. But a uh, two minute walk round has brought us to a little bar. Uh, a, little, a little micro style place. So this will be stop number three of the day. But at least we've got that music out of my ear now. <laughs> I really like it. This is a little bar. It's, it's about as little a bar as you could possibly get. But it's, it's full of character, full of personality. It's a brilliant little bar. A phenomenal spirit selection going on. A couple of taps up there as well. I've got Camden Hells and Manchester Union. Manchester, Manchester Union, yeah. Union on there. So two very good choices. But that literally is. That is it. That is the size. There is a little tiny set. Full of character, full of personality. Great little bar. Definitely comes in. Uh, super little place that little bar is. Absolutely loved it. No, I absolutely love the name of the next one. Again, we've walked for only a minute. There is so much around Warrington. It really doesn't take you long to walk to anything. And I just absolutely love the fact that this one is called Liquor Library. Craft beers and cocktails, that's enough to sell it for me. <laughs> and just the fact that it's called Liquor Library. So Liquor Library is stop number four. Yeah, I like it here a lot. The, uh, the aesthetic is quality. Some interesting bits and pieces. Lovely looking little bar. Great to set out. Some decent choices. Cannon House, Asahi Neckle, Shindiga. Crush our Gamma Ray, Orchard Pig, Peroni, Guinness, and okay, so that wasn't enough for you. There's even some uh, craft beer cans uh, and things in there. I think this place is absolutely brilliant. What a great little bar. Still just love the name of the last one, but uh, again, we've walked 30 seconds is all it takes you to get to anything around here. There are loads of cocktail bars, so we're gonna have to forego some cocktail bars because uh, otherwise we're gonna spend hours in them. But two next to each other will do. First of which is called Hopco, and then there's an Irish bar but yeah, Hopco will be at stop five of our day then. So we're on Bold Street, uh, by the shopping centre, stuff like that. There's a, obviously an old Block One, and that's a cocktail bar. It opens later, I think, Block One. So Odyssey Cocktail Bar, Block One, loads of cocktail bars around. But next up is Hopco. Just a brilliant selection of, uh, and one that I've never tried before. First beer of the day that I've never tried. Track brand, What Light, it's pale. And it's actually really good. Mm. Very impressed by that. There's some good to the track one. Stella for the, uh, the neck hole. Hazy day is always good. Good bits. Nice, swanky looking, smart feeling place, this. Uh, loads of cans in there as well. Pretty cool looking place, and cocktails as well. There are a lot of cocktail places around here, a lot. Some of the decor in here is absolutely brilliant. Right. Oh, it looks nice, but look at this, look at this, uh, this VHS wall. <sighs> and in there, some absolute classics up on there. Ah, might as well make use of VHSs since nobody's got a VHS player these days anymore. Not a good thing to do with them. Dot Hopco is brilliant. Uh, I really liked my beer from Track. 
Uh, it was nice to find a little bit of craft and something a bit different for the day. And as I showed you before we came in, it ain't far to walk to the Irish bar. Though it is, though it is, that was saying it, though it is. Though it is Irish bar, stop number six of the day. You know why I always love an Irish bar? It's really warm in it, it's really uh, packed out. It's just very nicely decked, as you would expect, uh, for an Irish bar. Sporting things going on. Plenty of Guinness on the go. Guinness, Madrid, Aspel, Caffrey's, Wainwright's, Coors, Madrid. Uh, so Holly, of course, is having a vodka. Yeah. Obviously, I'm going with a Guinness in an Irish bar. I could not have a Guinness. Great little bar. Straight out of there, turn left uh, to where the shopping centre was, what I showed you a minute. Uh, literally there. Uh, and then uh, it's the White Hart. That's a pretty beautiful looking building, to be fair, isn't it? So, White Hart is stop. I think seven of the day so far. Yeah, I'm very impressed at the, uh, the externals of this one. Let's go and see what this one's like. Really nice, uh, loads of little dining down, down this part. Apparently there is also a bar upstairs. So I'm gonna uh, go and head, head on upstairs. Yeah, upstairs, loads of seating, extra space up here. Great little place. Uh, and that's what is on, on the bar. Upstairs. But, yeah, it's a very nice, it's a very nice looking place downstairs and upstairs, this. Very impressed with uh, the whole general demeanor of this one. Great place. It's falls. Still isn't far to walk. We have not walked since the, since the weather spoons. We have not walked for more than about 90 seconds to two minutes to, to find a pub. And so we've even walked past cocktail bars and other things. So plenty to do here, there really is. Uh, and our next stop is gonna be nine gallon so literally if you see where that bus stop is that's where the white heart is literally that bus stop on the left hand side of that that's where we've just come from for the white heart and this is nine gallon this one has got some real ales on car scale craft beer and cocktail bars so everywhere's a cocktail bar around here but let's hope i can find something new and exciting in nine gallon yeah right on my street this place absolutely love it a square bar literally in the center of everything is a square bar but some really good stuff on offer uh, on here. I said the uh, pina colada, loads of good bits. There are some good casts on, and I've gone with I've gone with the line bikes from Welbeck uh, that's up there. So it is, yeah, plenty of uh, casts on the other side. I can't get around there, there's too many people sat, but decent bar, decent vibe. And some good beers on. I, uh, my beer here comes from Welbeck, uh, Welbeck Abbey Brewery, based in a workshop. I know I'm right on this one. Uh, called Limelight Pale Ale. Pretty good. But I think it's, uh, it's a good little vibe in here. Yeah, it, I hate people sitting around a bar where you can't get to the bar to see the beers, but at least they've got a list up on the wall. But aside from that, yeah, top notch little place this is. This one is actually a whole four minutes away. And we're walking through the shopping centre. It's quite a nice little shopping centre, this actually. You know, like people obviously around here would probably go like Manchester or Liverpool. I've actually got a decent little shopping centre of their own, to be fair. So you don't need to necessarily go to Manchester or Liverpool because you, you could just shop in Warrington. Quite a, a decent little place to uh, shop, to be fair. Anyway, we're on our way to the Barney Mo, uh, and I believe this is Warrington's oldest pub. I'll do some research, I'll let you know in a second. Okay, so it doesn't look like it is. There's one called the Black Horse, which is older, but it's the oldest one actually in the town centre part itself, I think. And it honestly is quite exquisite, isn't it? Quite stunning looking. Look at that. That is an incredible looking pub. So the Barley Mo is our eighth stop of the day, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing it inside. It does date back to 1561, according to the sign, anyway. But yeah, that is quite exquisite, isn't it? Quite beautiful looking pub. Let's go and have a look inside. Yeah, it's, it's impressive for the minute you walk through the door to it. I haven't walked around it, so I'll show you together. There's some of the uh, little parts of it. It's just exquisite looking. So it's now owned by Stonegate, apparently. Um, but fair play to Stonegate. They have not messed with the integrity or the internals of this in the slightest. And it is pretty beautiful. No matter where you, where you look, where you walk, you can watch all the sporting areas. It's modernized to that extent where you can watch the sport, but the rest of it, yeah, nothing compromised on the integrity. Some ales on as well. Not a particularly great lineup, with the majority of them coming from uh, Amasi, as you can see. 
which is a bit of a shame, but they always do have some decent bits on the taps. And yeah, pub-wise, it's a, it's a beauty. The beams and things, the wood, everything else about it is just absolutely beautiful. So we're back on the uh, the one minute walks, if that, and the next stop is going to be the Bluebell. Uh, I only did three Bluebells uh, on Wednesday in the in the single day, which is a new record. However, the Bluebell must now be creeping up on the old names front, because uh, it will be four this week in four within 55 pubs or so, so far. So the Bluebell is our next port of call, and it's actually bigger than I, I assumed it was just that bit. It actually isn't just that bit. It's very well lit, and it's actually... A pretty decent sized boozer. So blue belt, stop. I think nine. I think nine. I don't know because I haven't counted, but I think nine. It's bright, isn't it? It's bright, it's airy, it's light. Quite like it. It feels like a holiday uh, like place that I've come. Like when, when, once we found out in Cornwall. But with the way it's sort of laid out, lots of space, things like that. Uh, TV uh, bits. One ale on second hen. Level head though isn't a bad option, so I'll probably go with level head. And that's what the rest of it looks like. So not a bad looking establishment at all. The ale one was old speckled hen. And I, was, I wouldn't touch that with a barge pole, like literally again. I don't understand why that is still even in production, let alone why pubs are still serving it. But I'd always scan the fridges if something I've never seen before. And I've never had a Modelo, Modelo, another Mexican, Mexican uh, lager. You know what, it's all right. Something different, something new for untapped. Out of the Blue Bell, uh, and again another whopping. It must, it must have been. Oh, we must have walked for at least 200 yards, at least. I'm knackered. 200 yards, and this one is called the Hop Pole. Uh, it is a, a decent-looking establishment. Again, anything that's got the word hop in it usually is somewhere that I pretty much like, and it's so the Hop Pole is stop number 11 of the day so far. Let's go and see what it's like in there. It's a nice enough looking pub. I'm not sure they should use the word hop in their, in their title because they're very much hoppy uh, about uh, anything in this. Oh, no, it's, it's all right. Obviously, obviously, there is hops in beer in general, but very generic uh, lineup. But yeah, so it's, uh, I would imagine, probably a Heineken star pub establishment. Nice enough looking, all table and stuff. Straight. And a bit of busy Clyro. Okay, so we have headed slightly away from the town centre purely because I wanted to do this one. I wanted to do this one because it's right by Warrington uh, train station there, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's called a King's Head uh, again, and it is, yeah, it uh, must be another one of Warrington's oldest, Warrington's oldest boozers. So we've walked for about three minutes down this way under the railway bridge uh, to come to the King's Head. Because yeah, just I mean when I when I see photos and they look like that, I, I want to go and see what the pub's like. So this is I think it's stop 12, might be 13 of the day. Actually, as nice inside as the as the externals really really sort of give you the vibe of to be fair. I mean it's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, the beers are very very generic. Uh, Atlantic Pale, so I've gone with that. Come watch the football. Bar and stuff looks uh, like that. So it's, it's carling. Like it's, it's, there's nothing to write home about seeing no ale or something. But that is pretty much where we're at. Room, so we've wandered all the way through. This place is so deceptively large. One the right through to the back. We've got this covered uh, room with a massive back screen to watch football in. Uh, so in here, there's private function stuff going on in this uh, this side. So literally at the back of this place is so so big. But uh, apparently they've got rooms and stuff as well. So there's a lot of strings to their bow. A lot. No, oh, beer choice isn't the best. But aside from that, there's there's a lot going on. Back to Watertown Centre, uh, and the next one we were going for is. The looking glass, uh, which is here, uh, still fireworks going off, and it's well after firework night. Uh, but yeah, the looking glass then it is our next port of call for the evening. You come in here, you see, this used to be a Weatherspoon. It's obviously there's music playing and stuff, but it's, it still looks and feels like a Weatherspoon. But they have actually got some stuff on it I've never tried, so I've got them some Wobbly Bob. Never had a Wobbly Bob, but everything about it, apart from the screens uh, and everything else, feels still like a Weatherspoon. These are all uh, Warrington Wolves stuff. But yeah, it used to, it used to be a Wetherspoon, still very much feels like a Wetherspoon, and I bet it's still on a Wetherspoon's carpet. Spoons, eh? Oh, we, we actually, we actually really like it. It's like a Wetherspoon's with loads of personality now, so it still feels and looks like it looks like a Wetherspoon. All the staff, all the staff are nice, but a bit, a bit of background noise, TV screens and stuff. The prices are still dirt cheap as well, like Wetherspoon's prices. 
probably knock it. Like, it's, a, it's a decent looking boozer as well, this. I absolutely love the fact that they're embracing Warrington Walls. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a good, it's a good play. Fair play. Right, dead opposite, if you come out the other side of the looking glass, I actually really, really liked it. And it is. Didn't know anything about this. Didn't know it was there, but I can't miss it, can I? So, Smoky Moe's. It's a sports bar. It's got a bit of live music going on by the sounds of things. I'm nipping here for a quick shot, and then we're heading up there. The other, I've sent the others on, so I'm going to do this one on my own. Uh, Smoky Moe's sports bar. I like it in it. I, uh, I didn't go for a shot. I went for half of a, uh, yeah, Jersey Holt Ruby Ale, so I've never tried that, so I thought I would go with that. It's, uh, it's a karaoke as well. It's a karaoke, not a bit of live music. You know, whoever was singing was doing a good job. You know what? Bit of a party style, bit of a party atmosphere. And you know what? This uh, Ruby Ale from Holt ain't all that bad. Bit of karaoke. Good fun time vibe. Party time on my own. I'd stay in there. Nah. Let's get on. Can't leave the wife for very long, can we? Anyway, right, so straight over from there, you can hear the music going. It's a little angel. And again, yeah, this one was heavily, heavily, heavily shouted out to us as one that I would love and needed to get to. Uh, and even just looking at the outside of this. So 1823 established, tiles on the front, windows, everything is right on my street. Love the look of it. Laura Angela up next. Right, I honestly, I absolutely love it. This is Jen. Yeah, local, local, local. This is her actual local. This is a wicked pub. Honestly, so have a, have a look around here. So, being bored, but as you can see, several different ales on Liverpool IPA, which is what I've gone for, brewed especially for in here. This is one side of it. So, before the music kicks in and does me, I'm going to stop the video and I'll see you around the other side on the other bar in a second. It's a, it's a lot less chaotic in the uh, in the bar around the back, a lot more space, not quiet. Uh, but yeah, so some of the beers that are on in here are really good on the uh, on the cask stuff. But then they uh, they definitely it's, it's definitely weird having Carling Foster's John Smiths on the on the tap side. I don't, if you're a beer house, and they do, they obviously are a beer house. They take real pride in their in their things, and then they've got the, some of the worst tap. Like it's weird. It's it's a beautiful little pub. It's a lovely little place. But yeah, Foster's Carling John Smith on the, the tap side, I don't get. I don't get why you'd have, you, you take so much pride in the rest of the bees uh, and then put that dross on. I don't get it. The rest of it, absolutely, the, the pub is beautiful. The windows are stunning. It's nice being on this side where it's actually quiet now. I can talk to you. Yeah, some of the, uh, some of the window bits are absolutely beautiful. Uh, the, old, uh, the old things like that. But it is a very, very gorgeous looking boozer all round. I'm just confused. I'm really confused by the Foster's Carling John Smith's tribe. Get on some lagers on, have some, have some, I don't know, have some, some sort of standards about the lagers you've got on as well to go with the rest of it. I don't know. Beautiful pub. Just confused. Walk for two minutes then you will come to Porter's Ale House. Now, as you know, this sounds like it should be well up my street, isn't it? It's a very old, uh, very old looking pub, and then there are mad driving motorbikes on the uh, on the actual pub. So I'll uh, step out of their way. Thought I'd stay off. The, thought I'd stay off for once. I nearly got run over on a path rather than a road. You know, normally I get run over on a road. I'm in the I'm in the way, but I was on the way in the path there. So Porter's Ale House is the next stop. Proper old school looking boozer. Let's get it on. Yeah, it's a little live music, mate. So they're setting up some, uh, setting up some live music, live band and stuff on uh, up at the back. So, same people that own Smoky Moe's run this one. Holt Spears, Holt Spears galore, but it's not, it is a free house like that one was. So, but live music can be going on up there. A bit of space, so, yeah. I'm not entirely sure why it's still called Ale House with no ales on, because there are no ales on at all. So that, again, confuses me. Very misleading. Uh, but aside from that, aesthetic and, and everything like else like that, pretty much what we do. Okay, so, so it's called an ale house. There's no, no ale on, like I said. But I mean, just look at this is. So, so this is one of the. This the whole. This is the hot citra. So it's a pale, but it's flat, tasteless. It's, it's a real shame. I don't think that they really care too much about what they what they serve in beer wise in here, which is uh, well, yeah, which is a bit of a shame. So it's, it's a little rock pub. I know. Aside from that, aesthetically, quite like it. As we walk uh, further along, uh, over to there's a few on the other side of this roundabout. I've got hiccups, by the way. 
if you're on the other side of the roundabout we need to get to, and uh, just walking past the uh, Chinese takeaway, and my wife went to me, oh, that one's named after you. I'm not entirely sure which one she meant, you know, but if you believe that, you'll believe anything. <laughs> oh, God, I hate having hiccups. Right, however, which one did you mean? Hung King or Big Portion? Which, which one's most like me? Both. Both, see? I, I love my wife. Right, next stop then is Borough Arms on, a, on the corner of this major ma major road and roundabout. Uh, we're little and all that, uh, and we're going over there in a minute. There are three over there we've got to do, I think. So, Borough Arms, Marston's, I know, but let's do it anyway. This one, it, it's warm, cozy, friendly. And honestly, it, this one deserves to be busier. Because I'm not. Some of the ones we've just been to, they're busy. This one deserves to be busier, I'd say. Like, I actually really like it. I mean, it's a cool, sweet, nice little vibe of a, of a pub. And it definitely should be should be busier. I can't get rid of these No ales, but Smith's, uh, it's, it's a Marston's, but yeah, no ales. Smart, swanky looking little gas though. Right, straight over the roundabout where there are three literally next door to each other. First of which we're gonna do is the furthest one away, so the other two are there. We're gonna do the bull's head first. I've still got the hiccups that I can't shift. I absolutely despise having hiccups. So it is pretty beautiful looking that. What a beautiful old pub. That's gotta be, I'd put this in 18th century, if not older. So, yeah, very much looking forward to getting inside and doing the bull's head. Again, aesthetically in it, this is absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous looking little pub. Lovely effect of the bar. Timothy, Timothy Taylor's golden steps, which is nice to see. Rather, rather than it being landlord, um, it's nice to see something a little bit different. I don't know if I've ever had golden best before, so that's what I have gone for in here. Excuse the hiccups, I'm trying my hardest here. But yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous looking, gorgeous looking little pub. Plus you can watch the sport and stuff as well. Love it. Right, directly next door to the beautiful older Bull's Head is one of the newest bars in Warrington. Craft beer bar apparently called Eagle and Space Man. Um, welcome to Warrington, apparently. Uh, Holly's Holly spotted a dog, which I feel I should come and stroke too. Hi, Thomas. Oh, we're all scared of fireworks, Thomas. It's all right, buddy. Oh, it's all right, buddy. None of them. Oh, oh he's 14. Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Tom, Thomas is lovely, and this is why this is why you people need to stop setting fireworks off because it really isn't clip. It's not big, it's not clever, and it's not even entertaining. Just be a grown up. Stop setting fireworks off. They're stupid. And then poor poor doggies like Thomas, poor doggies like Thomas are frightened by them. So let's stop doing it, shall we? But the next stop then is Eagle and Spaceman craft beer bar. Maybe we're in a craft beer bar. And it's a really, really good craft beer bar, but there's no one in it. Seriously, Warrington, Warrington, sort yourselves out because this place deserves to be a hive of activity. <laughs> at nine o'clock, sorry about the hiccups, uh, at nine o'clock on a Saturday evening because it's great. It's a great beer line. Literally, they've got a stuffing lineup of beers. As well as, I've got the, uh, it's, it's from... Oh, it's not the, it's not the, I, I, honestly, I can't even speak, I'm, I'm so angry, right, so, but this is a beautiful little place, it's cheap, and at this time of night, even on a Saturday, it's happy hour, it's so cheap, you want to see the best way to serve a drinks menu, so we saw VHS tapes on the wall earlier, this, look, in it, that's the drinks menu, amazing, I absolutely love it, man. It's, it's phenomenal, beer's good, people are good, honestly, this should be busier, get, Warrington, sort yourself out and get down here. And, right, honestly, they cured my hiccups in there. Seven sips of water. So take a glass, seven sips. Seven. Does it. I've reached my 43rd year on this earth. Almost 44. Thanks, wife. Almost 44. Uh, and I've never really done the seven sips of water thing. But don't get me started. Right, <laughs> again, third one along there is the tavern. So, so this, this takes us to 20 for the day so far, I believe. We've actually still got an absolute load that I want to get to and it's almost 10 o'clock. So I'm going to shut up. We're going to go in here, drink, and I'm going to shut up. See you, Tavern. Okay. I spent a lot of the night again, like I said, until we, until we come up this side of the roundabout. I spent a lot of the night looking for good, different, anything that really piques my interest on the, on the beer front in Warrington. The town's been great, don't get me wrong, but I've, I've spent a long time searching for good beer houses. And then we stumble, we stumble across two in a row. 
that have got a real wealth of good beer going on. So, four teas I've seen. I've never heard of these guys. They're very, very local. In fact, the chap's dad, go on, tell me, the, the guy's dad. The guy, the guy who owns the pub, his dad owns the brewery, four teas. And I've just heard what it was, but I forgot. But it's uh, so it's not only the ales on it. You know. So I've gone for that Geronimo. But t- a couple of tiny rebels. Look, some Vault City. The heroes of all beer uh, on the on the on down there. Wild Craft. Really good. Honestly, really good. Really good looking beer house anyway. Really good looking pub. So it's fun. The moral of the story is, kids, don't always think that standing in the middle of the town centre is where you'll find all the best pubs, because sometimes you have to walk a couple of minutes outside to get to the best beer houses. And we've certainly proved that tonight, we've certainly found a couple of them now. Very much looking forward to trying this for teas, Geronimo, which is a session IPA, and I think it's their best seller. You know what, I can totally see why that's their best seller, that's really nice. But well, it's on the cans. So all your, all your favourites there, yeah, Vault City, I mean, yeah, Tiny Rebels, uh, yeah. North, Spirit Selection is good as well. This is top-notch gaffes. Tavern was brilliant, uh, to be fair, but the problem we've got is now, uh, the Hop Emporium was where we wanted to head. Just looked, shuts at half ten, it's just gone half ten, so we're not going to make that. So, I think the sensible choice for tonight is to draw a line on this, call this Warrington Part 1. There's a lot, a lot in Warrington that I know we haven't been able to get to today, that we definitely are going to come back and do. Um, so please don't be commenting saying you've missed stuff. We haven't missed anything, but we can't get to uh, everything in one day. That's, a, that's a, the long and short of it. So, have a kebab, a big portion. <laughs> you know, um, we, we've had a good day. We've done we've done 20, 20 odd pubs. Uh, we've had a good day. So, hello, have a kebab. Uh, get back to our hotel. Come back and do Warrington Part Two very soon. But this place, honestly, very underrated. It's a little town, I'd say this is. There are some absolute blinders. There are some, yeah, some that were a little bit not quite what we would have hoped them to be by the names, uh, but. This part of the roundabout, the, the craft beer, and the last two we've done, absolutely bang on. So, yeah, come and, come and, come and give Warrington a try. We need to come back, we'll do part two. Uh, and yeah, so I'm, I'm gutted that we haven't made it to the Hop Emporium, because literally that was one of the ones that I was definitely looking forward to. But. Fair bit of walking, fair bit of stretching around, but thanks for watching, we appreciate it. Uh, that's my four days on the road over and done with. Can't wait to get back to the hotel tonight, can't wait to get home tomorrow. Going home since Wednesday morning. Uh, so love you thanks for watching please if you don't subscribe already hit subscribe if you don't follow the Facebook page please do follow the Facebook page because that's where our main following is and I do write all the reviews and everything we've done so I'll see you next week I think Wednesday I'm at Derby Beer Festival I know Derby do it love you thanks for watching